Tyrannus tool for the analysis of radiation from lightning and sprites is an observation satellite of the French Space Agency CNES which will study the transient events produced in the Earth's atmospheric layer between 10 kilometers 6.2 miles and 100 kilometers 62 miles altitude Tyrannus will be launched in 2019 and placed in a sun-synchronous orbit at an altitude of 700 km, for a mission duration of at least two years. Science objectives The satellite is intended to collect data on transient events that are observed during thunderstorms. These events are happening between the medium and upper atmosphere, the ionosphere and the magnetosphere radiation belts. The resulting phenomena in visible light are called transient luminous events TLE, and take a great diversity of forms elves, halos, blue jets varying in color, shape and duration. Thunderstorms are also known to generate gamma and X-ray emissions called terrestrial gamma-ray flashes TGF, generated by intense electric fields in which the electrons are accelerated to the point of reaching an energy up to 30 MeV. The link between TLEs and TGFs is one of the scientific questions of the Tyrannus mission. The lightning-induced electron precipitations LEP will also be studied. All these events have associated electromagnetic wave emissions that will be investigated as well. The Atmosphere Space Interaction Monitor, a SIM, will operate as the same time as Tyrannus and will provide complementary observations. Topic: Technical characteristics. The Tyrannus micro satellite has a mass of 152 kilograms and uses the Myriadi platform powered by solar panels, providing 85W. The amount of data transferred is planned to be 24 gigabytes per day. The scientific payload is made of six instruments. MCP set of two cameras at de 3 photometers 30 frames s 512 by 512 pixels and measuring the luminance in several spectral bands at high resolution XGRE set of three detectors to measure high energy photons 20 keV to 10 MeV and relativistic electrons 1 MeV to 10 MeV E-day set of two electron detectors to measure their spectrum between 70 keV to 4 MeV together with their pitch angle EMA-BF, low-frequency antenna to measure the electric field to a frequency up to 3.3 MHz. EMA-HF, high-frequency antenna to measure the electric field at frequencies of 100 kHz to 30 MHz. IMM, a tri-axis magnetometer of search coil type to measure the magnetic field. The studied phenomena last not more than a few milliseconds, except blue jets. Therefore, a specific recording method is implemented. Scientific instruments operate continuously, and data is stored in a memory that is regularly purged of its oldest elements. If a phenomenon is noticed through one of the triggering instrument XGRE, E-Day, MCP, EMA-HF, the data of all the instruments corresponding to the period it took place is saved, and later transmitted to the ground. 